real good for us in the mornings here. But the best trail camera pictures we have are in the afternoon. We're gonna set all day. The sun will come behind us this afternoon. It'll be much better because we'll be in the shadows. But you never know. The water, they, they call the ubiquitous water because they're basically found almost everywhere in South Africa. They're wonderful trophies. They can get up to 100 kilograms in weight or 220 pounds. The limitation on, on their eyesight is only because they have short legs. They actually can see very well in open areas where their eyes aren't covered by the grass. They have superb noses. They, the other strength is that they are often in large groups. So if you stumble across a huge warthog and you get too excited, you might start stalking him without finding out that he's got 10 family members scattered around near where you are and one of them are going to see you so the first thing you do when you spot a good warthog is sit back and take your binoculars and check that he hasn't got his whole family with him. Warthogs are interesting because the, certainly the Europeans have a fascination with pocachero as they call it, or I think it stems back from their love of hunting wild boar. They're very common in certain areas. Uh, quite a challenging animal to hunt because they are a lot stockier. They're very stocky and they have this barrel roundness. And with one of the species where it's quite difficult to identify the vital triangle on a warthog, especially a big old boar. They have this very tight skin, round as a barrel, and they're extremely tough. I mean, I've seen warthogs being shot with a 375 and knock it over and it just gets up and runs off as if nothing has happened. For me, one of the coolest animals to hunt in Africa is the warthog. I mean, they're just neat. You see them all the time. And a big mature male is easy to spot because he's got those four giant warts on his face. And of course, the giant tusks. And when they curve out of that muzzle and they come around and you see them, uh, there's no mistaking a trophy warthog. flew off into the brush. I can't believe it. Unbelievable. He didn't go very far, but look at this. There is blood all over this tree. That warthog just crashed right into it. I think what happened was that arrow accidentally hit this as he was going to run by and it hurt him and it just changed his direction a little bit and he smashed into that tree. But the bad part was that his tusk came flying out. Look at this. The reason I shot him is he was a big warthog with giant tusks and whew, this one's been surgically removed by that tree. Unbelievable. Look at that hog laying there. <laughs> That is crazy. If it can happen to me, it happens. Let me tell you. Look at this warthog. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this to go in. Totally. Oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I got it in there. That's what he looked like when I shot him. Look at that. You know, I saw that flip out and I thought he broke it off. But what happened was is he smashed into that tree and actually broke it off at the root. But look how wide he is. You can see that's just a huge, huge warthog. When he came in, I didn't hear him. And all of a sudden I saw him down there. 
I went to full draw and shot him just behind the front shoulder. You gotta aim at that opposite front leg when they're quartered away steep like that. This pig ran 40 yards max, and uh, there's nothing like it. Look at that. Male warthogs have four warts. One, two, three, four. What an incredible, incredible hunt. Well, we finally had some action on our bush pig bait, and uh, this is the place that uh, we feel like we're gonna have the best opportunity. So we're gonna set up a couple of tree stands up in this tree, uh, and it's a gnarly tree. It's a tree that's uh, really not uh, conducive to tree stand hunting. Uh, and that's typical for Africa. These are thorn trees, acacia type trees. They're usually fairly short and uh, a lot of thorns and they're just bent and twisted and gnarly. I'm using a twisted timber tree stand for the purpose because uh, these things will set up in just about anything. And you'll see in a minute, I can get a level stand in a crooked tree, no problem. You know, hunting bush pigs, is a, it's a unique African hunt. Bush pigs are native to Africa and they're a beautiful animal if you've never seen them. They're high maintenance. You've got to make the bait, set the bait, get the pigs on the bait, get photos of the pigs on the bait. Set the stands and then hunt them. So if they know you're there, they won't come in. If they hear you, they won't come in. If they see the light, they'll run. If they, you make a noise drawing your bow, they'll run. So it's just like leopard hunting uh, in the sense that you've got to take a lot of tries to get it done. Another important thing to keep in mind when you're hanging these stands in Africa or even whitetail stands back home is backlighting. Make sure that you're not backlit. A lot of times when we saw these limbs out, we don't let them drop to the ground. We pull them behind us and we just try to thicken the cover behind us. Well, it's pitch dark now and we're set up on the bush pig bait. The trail camera says that they're gonna be coming in in probably two hours or so, so we're gonna just sit back and wait. Pretty exciting, this is a cheap man's leopard hunt. Uh, you get in the tree and you wait and hope and uh, they're very spooky. Uh, bush pigs can be very tough to get into a bait and even tougher to bring down and it's hard to shoot at night. So we're gonna kinda settle in here. It's a cool evening, so wish us luck. Turn this off. They call a poor man's leopard hunt. It's just very difficult. It's tricky. You're hunting at night. It's very difficult to shoot your bow at night, to get on the pins, to get anchored properly. It's pitch black out here, and these animals are so spooky. Yeah, right here's where the pig was when I shot. And there's some blood right there. He hooked up through here. Oh, there's more blood. More blood right here, aerial blood. Heavy tracks. There he is right there. There's a pig right there. Yes, he's down. <laughs> I just about snuck up on him. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful bush pig. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just soaked from the tall grass, just like I am. Look at the razor sharp teeth. Bush pig honey. It's a blast. It's a lot of fun and it's tough. And you know, when you're bow hunting, tough is good because it's not easy. But with Matthews in hand, this is the Creed XS. 
It's uh, working really well for me right now. I've shot a lot of game with this. It's my second trip back to Africa with it, and uh, it's only been out six months, so I've been getting a lot of traveling in. But this is what a bush pig looks like, and uh, they're beautiful. Probably the prettiest of all the hogs, except maybe a Russian boar. I just love bow hunting, and this is why. What a hunt.